Hi guys, this is Tekhaudi. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we created the functionality where we could validate expired tokens in our application, but we need to change the function a bit in the project. That's because when we are calling the check login status method, first thing that we are doing is we are trying to get the token from the local storage and then trying to decode the token so if i had to run this application again when the application loads in my browser window initially for the first time there will be no token in the local storage so which means that that method which is trying to get the token from the browser storage will not find any token so if you try to get the token it will give you a message saying that there's no token the value is null similarly with the login status here if we try to get it from the local storage the value of login status is zero so now when initially if it's going to be zero and there's no token and if we try to get the token before we try to validate the condition we are going to get an error in the console which is invalid token error and to fix this invalid token error message we need to make sure that we try to get the token only after we know if the token exists and the token will will exist only if the login cookie which is the login status is one and not zero to fix this what we have to do is inside this condition if condition so we will add a condition here that will check if the login status is one which is that we the user has logged in then we will check if the cookie exists so for that what we are going to do here is we are going to check for two possible scenarios which is if the jwt token in the local storage it's null or if it's undefined then we are going to return false so it can happen that the user is logged in and for some reason the cookie didn't load the cookie was deleted i'm not saying how maybe for some reason the after logging in the value is null or undefined then what we can do is we can validate it in the application and once we have validated it in the application if both these conditions are true either one of these conditions are true if it's undefined or null we will return false and then what we want to do instead of first getting these values we will get these values only after we know that the token exists so if the token exists this condition will not execute so if the token does not exist and the value is null or undefined it will return false but if it exists then we will go ahead and get the token and decode it so here initially we were first trying to get the token without knowing if the token exists but now we are checking if the token exists then only we will be coded so by doing this the errors should be solved on the console and you will no longer get invalid token error so whenever you're loading the application for the first time where you know there'll be no jwt token in your browser storage then you will not get this error because it's going to validate the conditions for you in the method so this is how you will fix the invalid token error message so go ahead download the latest code from devops repos this should have this error fixed inside this method so thank you once again for watching this video tutorial please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy